Earlier this year, we shared the story of St. Kateri Tekahwitha, a Native American saint. But this week, we've got the story of a priest who was martyred 10 years earlier in just about the same place where she was born. Welcome to Catholic Planner, where we explore concrete ways of encountering God's presence in the week ahead by following our church's calendar of feasts and celebrations. On October 19th, we celebrate the martyrdom of some of the most heroic priests North America has ever seen. These priests, known as the North American Martyrs, were eight Jesuit missionaries who traveled to the region of what is present-day New York State and Ontario, Canada. Among the group of eight was Father Isaac Jones. He experienced such torture from one of the native tribes that several of his fingers were cut off. Now, at the time, a priest could only touch the Eucharist with his thumbs and forefingers, which had now been cut off by the natives. Yet Father Jogues survived the torture, sailed back to France, and was given special permission by the Pope to still celebrate Mass, even without all of his fingers. Now, as if he hadn't displayed enough heroism already, Father Jogues then went back to North America to continue his missionary work, only to be killed for his faith near Arisville in New York State. And remarkably, 10 years later, born in approximately the same location, was St. Kateri Tekawitha, who lived her beautiful Christian witness among the Mohawk people. That's your Catholic Planner for this 29th week of Ordinary Time. May this coming week find us courageously living the gospel in new ways. Until then.